Oops, uh, my name is Matt Kuman. If we haven't met, I would love to do that at some point. Uh, I'm the group's pastor here at the Foundry. And I just want to start by saying thank you guys so much. We sent out this challenge of getting turkey boxes for His Harvest and your group leaders. And you guys responded in ways that we couldn't even imagine. You pretty much doubled the expectation that we had in the beginning. We were hoping to get 50 boxes total. And there was somewhere in between 90 and 100 hundred boxes that were collected last week. Um, and his harvest stand is so excited for the generosity of the foundry. And this community is going to be able to just eat in a new way and gather with their friends and family without having to worry about where that food is coming from. So I want to thank you guys as groups. You have stepped up in a missional way, even though this time is kind of crazy right now and you, don't, you may not know what's going on. Thank you for responding in such an awesome way. Um, let's dive into content today. Uh, this past week, I was given the chance to do the message and do the teaching and I loved looking through this sixth chapter of Galatians and how Paul spoke to the Galatians, explaining to them that they are needed. There, there's two different groups of people, the group that is getting tired and worn out, and he's explaining to them that even though you're tired and worn out, don't, d- don't lose hope, don't lose heart. There will be a harvest, and God is going to work through those things. Um, and he also speaks to the group of people who are opposite of that. He speaks to them expressing that if you're on the sidelines, if you're watching what's happening and not getting involved, now's the time to get involved because you're needed and the church needs you to step up. Um, So that was uh, what our teaching was over this past week. Before we dive into our discussion questions, uh, let's look at the icebreaker. Um, I love this one. What sports did you play in high school and are there any sports you wished you tried? Uh, For me, I... I have always wanted to play football, and I kind of regret never trying to play football. I I loved playing football with some of the guys. Um, I feel like I would get really hurt out on the football field, but I might be fast enough to get around people so I don't get smoked out there. So that's one thing I wished I tried when I was in high school. Are there any sports you wish you had done? All right, groups, discussion question number one. Uh, Maybe you have heard the phrase, what you put in is what you get out. How do you think this phrase speaks to your faith? And number two, Paul says not to grow weary from doing good. Um, Have you experienced growing tired from doing good things around you? This is a bit of a follow-up to that question. Number three, if you have grown weary from doing good, why do you think that is? Question number four, what things in your life drain you? What things in your life give you energy? Uh, Talk about these things as a group. Um, I think you may be surprised. Some things that give people energy may be the same things that other people are drained from. So talk about what that looks like in your guys' life. Question number five, what is an opportunity that is there that you can see but haven't quite been able to grab or you've been holding back from grabbing? All right, here's the last discussion question. If you are weary from everything that you are doing, how could you ask people that are around you to help you with some of those things so that you don't give up on what you are called to do? How can you start asking for help? All 
All right, groups, that is it for our discussion questions this week. Um, if you have time and want to spend some time in our Digging Deeper section, um, I think there is some really good questions coming out of that. I'm going to give you a bit of a teaser in that. How many people struggle with knowing if the voice that is in their head, maybe that voice is telling them to do, so, do something, if that voice is the Holy Spirit or if that voice is their own selfish ambition trying to tell them something else? Um, I, I think there are so many people that are asking that question. So if you have time, uh, spend some time in that. If not, um, feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Go grab some more food off the table. Um, open somebody's cupboard. Do whatever you need to to grab some food. Um, other than that, we can't wait to see you again next week. And we hope you're able to take some of these things and apply them and help you realize that you are needed in this community. And it's maybe time for some of you to step up in a new way that you haven't in the past. Um, so I'm so excited to see some of these things happen. I hope you guys all have a great week.